Sony finally released the version 5.0 for the FX30. They started out having some bugs and some problems, but now they worked out all those kinks. Let's go ahead and update our FX30. There are two methods that you can use to update your FX30, but in this video, I'll be going over how to update it via your phone. Before we start, I just wanna make sure that you have to have the Creators app. I'll be using an iPhone, but this should work with Android as well. Okay, before we start, we wanna make sure that we have the Creator app from Sony. So you can go to your Play Store or your App Store and just hit the Creators app and it should show up towards the top here. Right there, Creators app. I already have it downloaded, so you can go ahead and download it for yourself. All right, once we have gone and signed into our account, which is free, of course, and have gone through all of this, we just hit agree and download. And yeah, you wanna most likely do this over Wi-Fi since we got 861 megabits of storage to consume. Download. All right, once that's finished, we're gonna go ahead and hit this, transfer files to camera. Okay, so then this is how it should look, saying receiving data. And now we just wait for that to finish transferring. This is the end of what we got on our phone. Now the rest will be on the camera. So follow these precautions till the very end. Scrolling down. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Don't turn it off. A lamp will blink. Okay, let's execute. All right, so once we hit OK, we can go down to our firmware, all the way down, set up option, go down to version, and there we are, body version 5.0. Okay. We have now successfully updated our firmware for the FX30. Learn more about your FX30, like how to use slow motion, over here.